guys welcome back to my channel okay so for today's video I'm doing a tag video yes it is the tag video that Winnie and Gwenny did about their top favorite picks their luxury obsession bags and I believe that Amelia Rose did a video on this subject and they Winnie and Gwenny turned it into a tag video so that's what I'm doing and it's the bags that we are currently obsessing on now i do want to say i'm not really obsessing on any bags okay the one that i just showed you guys the fashion file i had been obsessing on that since last summer actually since it first came out but only baguettes is what i'm truly obsessing on and one of you said to me in a comment but it's not a baguette and i'm like i know <laughs> Anyway, I'm not really obsessing, but if I had the funds and I could get anything that I wanted, the top five bags that I have listed here. So these are the top five bags that I would choose. It's first thing in the morning and I just put on some lip gloss and these funky earrings. Look at these earrings, you guys. So these came from the really cool little gallery where my work is and there's so many artisans and I saw them and I thought those are funky I have to have them <laughs> but anyway you guys I may or may not get through this video I may come back this evening completely disheveled okay <laughs> that's what a four and six year old will do to you but I love it all right let's get into the video all right Oh, I also wanted to show you guys this kimono. It is so cute and just ignore what I'm wearing. But I got this from Amazon and I'm gonna link it. I thought it'd be really cute to wear over swimsuits and I just wear it around the house and it's got like a drawstring right here. So I just wanna show you guys this, this whoa, super cute kimono. <laughs> I'm in a mood, you guys, I'm in a mood. All right. Oh, and thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys, hang around. Stick, stick with me because I have a lot of really cool things coming up. Okay, let's get into this video before the girls get here. Okay, really no particular order, but I am going to start with Fendi because, yes, I do, I do obsess over the baguette. And I have two. And I would love... To have more baguettes you guys <sighs> okay and the baguette that I would love to have there's something about the classic look of a white baguette with gold hardware you guys when I saw it in Fendi I'm like oh my gosh it's beautiful I would love to have the classic white baguette with gold hardware. Now, I don't know that I would really pull the trigger on it, but it speaks to me. It says, I'm beautiful, I'm classy, I'm classic, and if you're not careful, I'll probably get... You guys, I'm at a loss for words! Oh my gosh, okay. I'll probably get color transfer. I totally started to say discharge. <laughs> edit that out but it's too funny okay so anyway I do love <laughs> the white leather baguette with the gold hardware wow it is absolutely stunning would it be an everyday bag for me no it wouldn't so more than likely I probably wouldn't get it but my next choice that would be an everyday bag is that beautiful lavender or lilac color wow you guys check it out check it out it's gorgeous I love it and I also love the sequin baguette you guys oh anyway I just love baguettes all right but also I'm gonna cheat because I'm putting another bag in this category and more than likely at some point I'm gonna get one okay and it is the Fendi peekaboo in the small size you guys I saw that bright yellow wow 
Okay, when I was in Houston with Autumn and we were in Fendi, that was the first time I ever saw that bright yellow baguette in person. Knocked my socks off. It knocked my socks off. Well, I didn't have on socks, but if I did, it would have knocked my socks off, okay? Absolutely stunning. I love it. Maybe one of these days I might get it. And also, I love the black. I, you might say that's boring, but I love the black peekaboo with the gold hardware. It's just very classic. You wouldn't have to worry about discharge. I mean, you wouldn't have to worry about color transfer. <laughs> and it would be an everyday bag. Well, not every day, but it would be a bag that I would use a lot, okay? So as far as Fendi, that is where I'm gonna go with it, okay? Those two styles are the styles that I absolutely love with Fendi. Okay, I'm just making a note because I just thought of something. I'm gonna have an honorable mention at the end of this video. Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm really cracked up today because I'm really trying to hurry before the girls get here. Okay. So hopefully this will be a shorter than usual video. Now, the next one is Gucci. You guys, I'm a total Gucci girl. I love Gucci, but I don't have a lot of Gucci. I have three Gucci bags, and I would love to have a Gucci backpack, and I will insert it here. It is a very casual vibe. It's my vibe. It's an everyday bag for me, and it's just the one with the interlocking G's on it. It's not even that expensive as far as luxury bags go, like 2200 something like that. And really, I might have to get this Gucci backpack at some point this year because I've been wanting it, I guess you could use the word obsessing, even though that's not exactly right, but I have been wanting a Gucci backpack because this thing would be indestructible. It would be great to take to football games, and it's just an everyday style bag for me, and it would go with my, kind of my style, and yeah. So a Gucci backpack is something that is definitely at the top of my list. I've always kind of wanted that Palm Springs mini Louis Vuitton bag, but if I had to choose between that one and the Gucci, and you might say you're crazy, I still think I would pick the Gucci, because I need more Gucci in my life, you guys. I really do. So, yes, it's a simple, everyday backpack, and it goes with my vibe. So, definitely the Gucci backpack. I also would love to have, okay, I'm just throwing in extra bags here, another Gucci Marmont. Okay, uh, another Gucci Marmont. No, they're not out of style. I don't care what Erica's girly world says. <laughs> She's always telling us the bags that are out of style, like the Chanel Jumbo. Oh, you guys, in the first place. Things like that really annoy me when bigger YouTubers come on and tell us what's in style, what's out of style, what's boring, what's plain, what's mundane, what? Okay, who are you? Who died and left you the style queen icon that knows everything that's in and out of style? I'll tell you what's in style. Whatever I say is in style for me is in style. Style is your own personal vibe, okay? Now I'm getting off on a tangent. I gotta get through this video, but style is definitely what you love, what makes you feel good, and it's your personal vibe, what goes with your aesthetic, your wardrobe, and whatever the hell you like, okay? That's style. All right, so then we will move on to Chanel. Now, <coughs> I want a classic flap, and I know they're super expensive, but I want a medium large black with gold hardware classic flap. Yes, I do, okay? I mean, is it boring? Is it mundane? Is it out of style? Who cares? That's what I want. I don't have a classic flap. You guys, I have 10 Chanel bags, okay? And I don't have one classic flap, and I want one because I know that I would use it a lot. When we go out on weekends or whatever, I would use that bag all the time. And I don't have to have a closet full of classic flaps but I would love to have that one basic one. Now, the jumbo is not for me. I used to obsess over it, and you guys remember, I used to say, 
when I go to Greece and getting a jumbo and I really meant it but you guys then I tried one on okay I'm not very tall I'm somewhere between 5'2 and 5'3 and that jumbo thing is enormous it is enormous and when it's just on one chain which i wouldn't wear it that way anyway it goes all the way down to my knee so i just want a beautiful classic flap it'll never go out of style erica's girly world it will never <laughs> not picking on her you guys she has a great channel but she is very opinionated but so am i you know i'm opinionated but i just don't like people telling us or telling me what's in style what's not in style but yes if I were to get one Chanel bag, you guys, that's what, I, what it would be because I now have a vintage Chanel. I have s several Coco handles. I have reissues. I have a nice Chanel collection going on, you guys. Yes, I have it going on. But I do need and want, maybe not need, but I definitely want a Chanel classic flap in the medium large caviar with gold hardware. That's what I want, okay? Okay, okay, now, you guys know I sold my Birkin. Goodbye Birkin 35. It was gorgeous, but it became cumbersome for me. At first, I thought it was a forever bag, okay? And you know, we're entitled to change our minds. It was gorgeous, it was totally my vibe. Black, it was beautiful, it had the silver, palladium hardware but you guys it was cumbersome and if I don't want to carry it now and had to make myself carry it which I did carry it a lot one summer when I first got it but then after that I was over it seriously that's what happened I do want another Birkin and if I just have one Birkin I'll be happy I want a Birkin 30 I don't really know what color but I kind of think I'd like to have a bright color this time you guys just so that beautiful is it the rose color kind of like this color this is my camera case but anyway kind of this color I don't know I'm not well versed in Hermes but I don't really know the color I would want but I think if I could just choose one it probably would be a bright color I also like that gold gold and gold that's a classic maybe gold and gold but if I ever get a Birkin if I lucked out one day and they offered me one and Keith wasn't gonna have a stroke about it I would do it okay but I don't care if I ever got another one that's just how I feel about it I, I, I also want a garden party I'm throwing in extra bags here you guys because this is my channel I can do this tag however I want <laughs> maybe I'll take the Hermes Birkin 30 and with gold on gold like go more classic and then the garden party I can get this beautiful color or maybe a bright orange but no not orange because I have that Amazon bag that starts with a D and ends with an E you know you're not supposed to say that word on YouTube so maybe a garden party in this color all right so the fifth bag I'm not gonna say I'm obsessing but if I could get any bag that I want from Louis Vuitton. It would be, yes, another Capucines. I already have a Capucines, kind of that beautiful dusty rose pink MM. I love it. I say it's a fancy tote. I've carried it way more than my BB size, even though I kind of dig the BB size the best, and it's in that bright red, beautiful. But I would love to have another BB size, or maybe even a mini, but probably a BB size, black, with gold hardware with the flowers on the top. Okay, that one. And then when I was looking on the Louis Vuitton website, I came across the most gorgeous Capucines in the green ostrich. Yes, you guys, it's almost $10,000. <laughs> Keep, I need it. Anytime I say I need something, Keith says, want, there's a difference. But no, I really feel like I need it. I really, I don't know. I just feel like I do, okay? <laughs> I don't really need squat, you guys, but, you know, for the sake of the video, okay? For the sake of the video, like I said, I'm not really obsessing over anything, but for the sake of this video, because I'm supposed to be obsessing and I'm really not. Unless it's a baguette, you guys. 
not a bag, a baguette. I'm not really obsessing. But if I had endless amounts of money and I could get whatever I want, those are the bags that I would love to add to my collection. Okay, I'm gonna tag a few people. Dawn, Dawn loves Couture. I want to know what are the five bags that you're obsessing. I know she's obsessing, you guys. She obsesses every day. I would love to know. Okay, Autumn Beckman, I'd love to know. Um, handbag Housewife, let us know what you're obsessing over. Come on, guys. Let's do this tag because it's really fun. This is a really fun video to do. And I, I would just love to see what some of you people are obsessing over. Okay, pink butterfly girl. Girl, I know you're obsessing over some handbags, so I'd love to see you do this. Jane, I'd love to see you do it. I mean, heck, everybody can do it, okay? Everybody can do this tag, and it's a lot of fun. It didn't really take a lot of thought, you guys. I did write, write it down because sometimes I have a bit of a senior moment, but Dawn, jump on it. Jump on it, Dawn. <laughs> Thank you so much, Winnie and Gwenny, the two sisters from another Mista, for creating this tag. And thank you to the lovely Amelia Rose for coming up with the idea. We got to give credit where credit's due. Love me some Amelia Rose. So yeah, you guys, um, if I didn't call out your name, because right now I just can't think straight, but yeah. People, do this tag, okay? But I do have a lot of really cool things coming up. Now, Saturday, we're leaving to go to the beach. So, I'm excited. I need a break, you guys. I really do. And I'm going to be vlogging the whole week. And I can't wait to put that together for you guys. It's our annual Panama City Beach trip. So, yeah, we got a beach house and we're going to be there. And I'm taking you guys with us. Okay, you guys, I know I mentioned that I'm going to be telling my YouTube story very soon and showing you guys some footage from three years ago. It's absolutely horrific, you guys. It's very cringeworthy. But I'm going to do it. But it'll be when I get back from vacay because it's going to take a little bit of time and I can't wait to share it with you guys, but I promise you guys that is definitely coming up. And also, look at my beautiful little coach necklace. So in my um, community post, I've been posting some of this beautiful coach jewelry. And I love this, you guys, because it's so dainty. And I need to go back and get the earrings. I also have the slider bracelet. I don't have it on right now. But it pairs well and it doesn't tangle up with my Yerman. So you guys, grab it. Grab it. I'm just obsessed with coach jewelry. And that's another video that's coming up after this video. My coach jewelry, you guys, because it's great quality. It's fun to wear. And like I said, I got rid of some of my costume jewelry that I've had for years that I was a little bored with and picked up some pieces from Coach and I'm totally enjoying them. And this one is amazing, you guys. I love it so much and I don't shower in it. I never take this off, but I love it. I sleep in it and well, I have showered in it. Okay, I'm a liar. But anyway, you guys, <laughs> Coach jewelry is amazing. Okay, guys, I love you all so much. You know that I do. I'm going to go down and have some coffee because it's early in the morning. Well, it's not early. It's 10. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. And the girls are supposed to be here at 10. So I'm going to go have some coffee before they get here. And yeah, so I'll be back in a couple of days. I love you guys so much. And have a great day, evening, night, or whatever. Guys, love you. Peace. Peace.